Hey, Moral Gamers, welcome back. So we're taking a look at Sonic Dash. Uh, this is for Android, I think also iOS. And so, you know, Sonic Dash, got a few characters here, by the way. Let's just go through that before we get into the gameplay. All of them are locked, and you basically need to pay premium currency to get these characters unlocked. But you at least get to start out with Sonic. And so what is this game? This is basically an endless runner. And so let's get Sonic going. And so, yeah, you can swipe left or right to move them left or right, up to jump. And you just want to basically keep running. It's, it's your endless runner. There's not a whole lot to this one. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really sure what to say, except for the fact that if you like endless runners and you like Sonic, uh, this is going to mix the two. But in and of itself, it doesn't do anything unique or anything that would make it a great handheld game. I guess if you're sticking at the DMV or something like that, it might be fun to play this one, but yeah, I, I just I really can't say that this is an exceptional game. Oh, here we go. They're going to make me do different swipes to make Sonic do like poses. I don't understand why they do that, but hey, whatever. And then in some areas you'll actually have to um, swipe to do um, you have to swipe to make sure that you hit certain enemies as well. So they do weird stuff like that. There, I lost some rings. Oop. Let's do a boost. Use the boost to get through! So, yeah, this is Sonic Dash um, for Android. This is not great. This is not this is not a great game by any means. It's a very generic. If you love Sonic, there you go. You're going to you're going to get there. I had to duck to get under that. Um <clears throat> You're going to get basically just a Sonic-flavored Endless run Runner. It's it's nothing. There's nothing I can really say is going to make this one stand out. But hey, though, if you enjoyed this review, remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. We love hearing from you. Moral Gamer, moralgamer.com. Um, yeah, we'll catch you next time.